Hey guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a look at the new Sony Xperia Z. This is the new flagship phone from Sony, featuring a 5-inch 1080p LCD display, as well as a 13-megapixel sensor, which is capable of HDR video. So there's a lot of things this can do, so let's get started with the unboxing. First, let's take a look around the packaging. I should note that this is the unlocked international version. Uh, so this is actually the version that ships in the UK. I just got it on my doorstep just a few minutes ago. Now, in the back, we have some references to the major features including our 13 megapixel sensor we have a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor that's a snapdragon processor hdr video we have a five inch screen as well as a front facing camera i believe that's what that's referring to so lifting the lid which is not taped by the way we can see our sony xperia z in the top tray so here we go now packaging may vary uh depending on what carry you pick this up from so let's just uh, unwrap this and slide it out all right, so as you can see, it's still wrapped in its plastic. Now, this is a fully glass design, so we have a glass back panel and a glass front panel. Now, Sony says that the back panel and front panel are the same glass, which means they're pretty shatter resistant. So let's go ahead and peel this off. There we go. This is the black version. This is available in two other colors, white and purple. Let's peel the front one off. There you go. Very glossy, very large foam, but very thin, as you can see. Now let's set this aside for just a moment and take a look at what else is included. So it looks like they gave us some screen shields for the back and front with a squeegee and cloth. Now taking a quick look at the accessories, they've given us a Sony branded USB wall adapter. This is the UK version, obviously. They've also given us a micro USB cable, and this phone does support MHL, uh, which will allow you to output video over the USB connector using the right adapter. This is Sony branded, so if you look in there, you'll see Sony branding. We also have a pair of Sony headphones. These are in-ear headphones with a remote and microphone, and they've also given us some ear tips to make sure that they fit our ears correctly. And they've given us some literature, so we have a quick start guide, which tells us about some of the buttons and features of the phone. And we also have some of the standard information, such as warranty information and some of the compliance information. All right, so let's get back to the Xperia Z. And on the back, you can see we have that very glossy edge-to-edge -edge glass panel with the Xperia branding toward the center. You also have an NFC label there, just letting us know that the NFC sensor is right behind that portion of the back panel. You also have your 13 megapixel autofocusing camera with HDR video. Right below that is the LED flash and you have your microphone. Now along the top you'll find a covered port. As you can see along the side every panel here is sort of a blue, kind of a dark blue translucent panel. It looks very nice. You can see as it picks up the light it reflects that blue color. But uh, behind this flap here is your headphone jack. So you can see that right there. There's your headphone jack. You can cover that up. Actually, if you look inside, you can see it's kind of rubber, rubberized. So it does, perform, it does create a nice seal around the jack. Along the left side, you'll find these two connection points for accessories like a dock or charger. Up here, we'll find a door hiding the micro SD card slot. Now, this holds up to 32 gig cards, so not 64 gigs in this case. So they do include 16 gigs of storage in the phone, but you can expand it up to 32 gigs with the SD card slot. You also have another door here hiding the micro USB connection. So there you go. And uh, that's one way to charge. As you can see, we also have that rubber seal around the doors to keep it nice and airtight. Now, there's not much along the bottom, but uh, at the corner, you actually find a hook for a lanyard. You also find your speaker grill. Here is your volume rocker up and down. They also call this a zoom uh, rocker. So if you want to zoom in on your photos, that's a feature built into the OS as well. You also have your uh, power switch here. So that's your sleep, wake, and power on and off button. A very nice button with that chrome design. You also have your SIM tray here. So I've already taken out the SIM tray because it's kind of hard to get out of there. But there is your SIM tray. So all you have to do is load up your SIM, slide it in, and you're good to go. Just seal up the door. And taking a close look at the front of the phone, you can see we have our earpiece, which is mirrored by the mouthpiece at the bottom. Up here we have our 2.2 megapixel front-facing camera, which is capable of recording video at 1080p. So that's better than most cameras I've seen, or front-facing cameras I've seen, which usually stop at 720p. We also have our ambient light sensor, proximity sensor, and an LED notification light. Now at the bottom, you won't find any backlit capacitive buttons. In this case, all of those will appear on the screen. All right, so let's go ahead and start this up for the first time. Just going to hold that power button. So 
So while it's starting up, let me just talk about this display. So this is a 1080p display over five inches, which gives us a pixel density of 441. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we got here. We're gonna set this up for the first time. So you either swipe up, you can either swipe up or swipe down to unlock the phone. There we go. We're gonna go for English, the United States. Should be down here. Click done. All right, so it just wants us to read the warranty. We're gonna to agree to that. And wants me to insert the SIM, which we're gonna skip for now. We're going to accept the data disclaimer. We're going to accept the usage info. And that's all there is to it. So we're already set to go. So you can see we have several home screens here. Now I'm going to do a full review and overview of this operating system and all of its unique Sony features. So I just want to show you exactly what this looks before uh, that video shows up at the end of this week. Uh, I've already played with this phone. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It does have a heavily modified version of Android 4.1. No word yet on when 4.2 is coming, but I'm sure it will be updated eventually. Uh, for example, you have your app drawer here. You can also go up to... Uh, customize to get to your widgets and here you can add home screens and manage your home screens you can also adjust your themes so you can pick the theme you want which will change the wallpaper and some of the coloring you also have your standard apps including your Chrome browser which is default the Play Store messaging and your phone app on the front we have all of these Sony services including Walkman album movies and Sony select you have lots of widgets here relating to music of course so this is the Walkman widget this is your photo gallery widget you have video unlimited music unlimited and track ID. These are two Sony services, so this is basically Sony's version of iTunes. So this is where you can purchase music and video. You can also rent video as well. Uh, you also have a app here for identifying music. So this uh, will allow you, it's basically like a Shazam app. Uh, up here we have our widget here for controlling screen brightness or uh, Bluetooth, toggling Wi-Fi on and off. We have our weather widget, which is defaulted to the wrong location. I'm not in Washington. And we have Sony Select. So anyway, we're going to talk about this a bit later. Uh, there is one more feature I'm going to show you here that's unique to the Sony experience, which is this sort of over widget or widget bar. So these are called small apps. So this will give you a little app here, like a calculator, which hovers over what you're doing and will go translucent when you're doing something else in the background. Of course, you can close that. So that's just a quick look at the operating system and stay tuned for more. So that's going to do for me in this initial look at the Sony Xperia Z. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you again in the next video.